Ocular motor nerve covered by the pituitary gland are right here. Ocular motor gland. See it? Usually covered by your pituitary gland. Alright? That's cranial nerve three. <laughs> Posterior to the midbrain is the pons. That's these two little lumpy things there. The pons. Okay? It is part of the hindbrain and it is composed primarily of blood fibers. You need to know what part of the brain all these structures are. Okay? Mm -hmm. You need to know everything on that board and everything that's a part of it. Okay? Um, let's see. The medulla oblongata is the long part of the hindbrain. Okay? Pons, medulla oblongata. Alright? Next, we see the remaining parts of the brain in a sagittal section, so something that can actually open. There we go. And the original, oh, let's see. The original cavity of the embryonic neural tube persists in the adult brain in the form of a series of cavities called ventricles and passages that are filled with cerebrospinal fluid. A thin partition of tissue is called the septum pellucidum, and the septum pellucidum I don't have a really good example of. Anybody else got some brains around here? Okay. The septum pellucidum is a tissue that runs along the midline. You see that there? This actually would fill this area too, and it's, it's, it's this whole... Um, divider between this <laughs> ventricle, okay, and that ventricle. So there's a ventricle here and there's a ventricle there and there's actually a layer that divides it. You can see there's some of it still here, you see, that it's, it's separating these two ventricles there. Alright, and you can see a little bit still left over there. Some of them show them better than others. I don't really have a super good depiction of one. Okay, septum pellucidum. Um, they lie between the two lateral ventricles. These are lateral ventricles. Okay. Next, the lateral ventricle is present in each of the cerebral hemispheres. These ventricles connect posteriorly through the foramen of Monroe with the third ventricle in the middle. So this is the lateral ventricle, this is the lateral ventricle, this is your third ventricle. Okay? So, yeah, it's just running over your thalamus. This is your thalamus. Okay, it's that sort of circularness going on right there on the outside. The massa intermedia, I'm trying to find a better one here. Here, this is good. Okay, thalamus is on the outside, massa intermedia in the middle. Okay, the massa intermedia connects to both sides and this is the thalamus on top. This is the third ventricle. Lateral ventricle, third ventricle, thalamus, massa intermedia. What's this one? Remember? Remember, remember, what's that? Be specific. Oh, superior what? There you go. Okay. All right. So third ventricle surrounds the thalamus. The fourth ventricle lies beneath the cerebellum. So that's this one right there. Fourth ventricle. Third ventricle. Lateral ventricle. Okay. Um, the fourth ventricle is continuous with the central canal of the spinal cord. So if we look, we see that. That somehow joins with our fourth ventricle right there. Okay? So it actually, there's a hole right there, and that's how it starts. Okay? That's what they mean by continuous with. Um, let's see. So this is our central canal right through there. All right? The fornix is the lower part. What's this one called? That's the corpus callosum. This is your fornix. What's this? What's this? Uh huh. What's this? And this? Fornix. Fornix. Okay. So this is still our hypothalamus here. Remember, we saw hypothalamus just below. Okay. Um. The hypothalamus lays ventral to the thalamus. So this is thalamus, this is your hypothalamus. Okay. The narrow cerebral aqueduct leads through the midbrain and connects the third and fourth ventricles. You can hardly see that sometimes, but you can kind of see it right there. Okay, if this is third ventricle and then your fourth ventricle is here, it's not sliced open here so you can't see it. But there is a another channel that connects it. That's the cerebral aqueduct and it's going right through your midbrain. What's the name of the midbrain?
the proper the subdivision. Mesencephalon. Mesencephalon. Whatever you want to call it. Um, you guys should all know this. This is what? Uh huh. And what is this called? The arbor vitae. Right. And the inside part is what kind of matter? And the outside is then the gray matter. Good. All right. Let's go over the nerves. The nerves. I'm not too memorized. I just don't want to mess them up again because I messed them up for the other group. Um, okay. So these were our what? Optic or olfactory. olfactory lobe. This is our optic chiasma. Okay. This is your um, second cranial nerve, your optic chiasma. All right. What was this nerve? This is your third cranial nerve. That's your ocular motor nerve. Okay. Over here on the side, we have cranial nerve number four. What's this? Trochlear. Good. Trochlear number four. All right. Then we've got, well, what's this? Remember these? What's this? The pawn. Good. Then we've got these nerves right here, which are our abducens. Okay. Actually, you can see it better on. Can you see it better on this one? No, I had a, I had another brain that was really good. I don't know where it went. Oh well, whatever. All right, these are your abducens. Um, this one is what? It's thicker. That's your trigeminal nerve. Okay, it's nice and thick. And then these little ones down here are your facial nerve. Okay. Facial, abducens, trigeminal, ocular motor, trochlear, optic chiasma, or optic nerve, and then your ocular nerves are in here. I mean your um, olfactory nerves are in there. Okay? Um, so you have to know the name, you have to know the function, you have to know the number, what cranial nerve number all those nerves are. Okay? Yeah. <coughs> That's it for the brain. Mass intermediate hypothalamus, olfactory bulb, osteochiasm, pituitary gland, infant nebulum, pollen, three black ducts, medulla oblongata, fourth ventricle, spinal cord, central canal. I talked about all of this. Okay?